Well, let's get to the serious stuff here. A building that was once in line to be Kentucky's capital is now in need of capital improvements. Historic Ward Hall in Scott County has been around since 1857. But preservationists say time is running out to make some much needed repairs. Bossy Prokos in studio this morning, as we've mentioned, with more on the efforts to save the largest Greek revival mansion in Kentucky. Yeah, guys, well, the long list of jobs that need funding includes replacement or repair of the grand entrance and air conditioning. Right now, the exterior front grand entrance stairway is off limits to visitors due to safety concerns. The director of Ward Hall, Ron Bryant, says the preservation of the mansion is so important because the sense of history is overwhelming. It's the sights and sounds that make Ward Hall one of the examples of a mid-19th century classical building. Ward Hall is not only just a Scott County Georgetown treasure, it is a national treasure. A uh, lot architectural historians look at Ward Hall and that Ward Hall is ne in nearly every architecture book you find as being one of the best examples of Greek Revival architecture. In the late 1800s, this 12,000 square foot Greek Revival structure was proposed as the new Kentucky State Capitol. Now, decades later, a major facelift is in the works, but doesn't come cheap. The Ward Hall Preservation Foundation received a quote of more than $400,000 just to rebuild the stone steps exactly as they were originally built 167 years ago. As you can imagine, the expense is overwhelming, the size of the house uh, and the, the needs of actual putting it back together as it looked when Junius Ward first built it. The estate was used for generations as a summer home for a powerful political family and as a place to entertain. Ron Bryant, the director of the historic mansion, says even with the cracks and splintering through the home, you can still feel the sense of history it holds. It was, it's kind of like the family just stepped out and, and we're still around here. And so we try to make people feel that this is living history. This is not just a house that you see a pretty house. This is something as a teaching tool about American Kentucky history. Brian is the last original board member of the Ward Hall Preservation Foundation. And despite the dire situation today, he believes the Revival Mansion will be revived. Our mission is just to make sure that Ward Hall will be preserved in perpetuity and nobody can ever touch this property again. And it'll be always reserved for uh, people's enjoyment. And the preservation of the mansion is so important. And the sense of history here is overwhelming. The home is still open for tours. And if you'd like to help preserve Ward Hall, we have a link to help in the story at fox56news.com. Tyler, back to you.